Uh, my name is Lindsay Brunel and I play Siobhan. My name is Audrey Salinas and I play Judy. Siobhan is uh, Christopher's teacher, um, or like, I guess para you could call it. Um, and her kind of role in the storytelling is she mostly narrates a lot of it. Um, she's reading things that Christopher has written in class. Um, so she kind of takes on a narrator role, but she is one of the few kind of people or moments that we see um, Christopher having like somebody to sympathize him or um, really be empathetic towards him. Um, and I like to think that I would share those characteristics. Um, she's very good at setting boundaries. I am not. But uh, I think we share the same like want for caring for other people. Yeah, and Judy is Christopher's mom. Um, and for the entire like first act of the play, um, you don't actually like see her as a person. She's there as like a memory or she's there um, like reading her letters. She acts on her emo emotions. She's driven by really strong emotions. And I think at times I can relate to that or I want to relate to that more instead of being a person who thinks of like head versus heart, like finding that difference. Cause I tend to be more logical at times, but having those like big emotional outbursts when things get to be a lot, whether in a good way or a bad way, I can see myself in. I think kind of any time um, Maddie Anna comes on, like any, <laughs> specifically yes. um, when she plays the role of Mrs. Gascoigne, um, any time she comes on it's just a delight because usually it's just a very short phrase or sentence or even one word and it's just so perky and cuts right through just a serious scene sometimes and it's just very entertaining. I, I genuinely am always holding back a laugh when she comes on as that character. Yeah, I would second that. How often is there like a play where there's a character who is neurodivergent? Like there are side characters on TV every now and then there's even like a main character, but you don't get to see that very often, which is a shame. But having that, having the ability to go see a show that is unfortunately like different for that reason, go see it, take advantage of being able to see from that different point of view, learn and grow and educate yourself and take this opportunity to learn more about people who are different from you.